I'm filming this as it's the last opportunity I'm going to get to do so. Today is the 5th of June. It's the day when YouTube goes over from its current style to its new style. It's called Channel 1. Apparently it makes it look much better. Well, at the moment, let's just do a quick comparison. Here is my uh, current uh, first page. There's your name, got a little video coming up. And there you've got a list Approaching of sunset uh, playlists, which you can see. Sicily, I'll just turn the, the noise May So I've got a video which then you can see if you want to, or uh, if you don't want to see it, then you can have a look at maybe my list of playlists, or you can go to my browse videos section. Uh, it's also got this nice floral pattern behind it, which I did, and a little photograph of myself, should you be interested in seeing a photograph of myself. And there you have my um, videos. Now, YouTube says you can now go over to having one looks like this. This is my friend's channel, so he won't mind me comparing to his. So, what they say is you can now express yourself and be different. Well, you can be different by having a, a channel which looks exactly the same as everybody else's, except, of course, for the photograph at the top. Uh, at, the, at the current stage, no one that I know has gotten little flowers like I have put on at the background. So that's the first thing. The next thing I'm going to mention is uh, that it does have the advantage, admittedly, I've got my subscriptions on the left, which uh, I didn't have before, I had to go actually go looking for them, but on the right, he, it gives um, some popular channels, and there it's given a number of popular channels, none of which have the slightest interest for me. One, the Genoa Municipality, which is the one at the very top, so they say it's popular, well, most of their films haven't even had 100 views, in fact, most of them have 50. Now, I've got films down at 100 views, but uh, not that many of them. In fact, my average is something like 4,000. I can't even call exactly what it is off the top of my head. Anyway, what else have we got? Um, they say that this old style is no longer any good because it has. To, we have to go to a new one so that uh, it works on all devices. Well, this works on the computer, it works on the mobile phone, and it works, in fact, everywhere that I have ever tried using it. I don't know if it works on a, a games console or not, but that only accounts for 0.3% of views. It may well work on the games console, I don't know. Now, YouTube, by using this new layout, has gone for some, which I really don't understand at all. It's gone for something which is now video-based from being playlist based. Now the old one uh, was playlist based which they ins made people take at the beginning of 2012. I went over to it immediately. As soon as I saw it I liked the new look which was in the summer of 2011 and I, I, I turned mine over immediately. Uh, so rather it, I just can't understand the logic of this at all. And not only that, I think it's abusive towards their their users. It's, it's one of yet another area in which Google is being abusive, whether it's the fact that the new Skype, for example, which is totally doesn't work at all, it, or it's dodgy messages which it gives out over certain sites. Um, I find uh, it, it just, it's going too far. And I think as soon as somebody comes up with another version of YouTube video sharing, I'm going to go over to it. There was one called, oh, I can't remember what it was called now, it's gone. Uh, video uh, something, well, I can't remember. Um, well, it didn't It didn't work out. I mean, the last time I went over this video, something or other, it was no longer online. But I think this, the amount of time I put into this to, for example, to make sure that my playlists worked um, to, um, the amount of effort I put in there, the uh, the links I put on the right hand side, you've got my Facebook site, Twitter, and in um, LinkedIn, and uh, all of this, all all gone to waste. And what about the poor people who spent time and money on putting their their sites up? I saw a press this came a press release came around today about. Uh, people uh, what they can do not to panic on today that their uh, YouTube sites are no longer going to be working and I'm sure it's from a company offering too much for money to sort this one out for them. Well I've already used a lot of my time and energy to get this the way I wanted. I did it at Google's insistence. Now having they having made their mind up that they were forcing people to change once before 
they should have no right whatsoever, moral, morally, to make people change yet again. And the excuses, as I've said, are completely and utterly pointless. So this is it. This is the last time you can come in onto this site and see my um, first uh, page, my layout here. It's now uh, no longer available. It's dead. So why do I want these nice featured playlists which I spent so much time getting in the right position and so I had to change it because of the date so something was happening and then I'd put the playlist at the top or, or I'd put on it, it was an anniversary of something. For example, tomorrow's D-Day anniversary. Well, if I had any films on D-Day, I haven't got any films on D-Day, but if I'd had any films on D-Day, I'd have put them up to be uh, bang on time. Now, you can't do that. Now, you can have a video which you make to try and get yourself subscribers. Uh, that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Um, if the whole objective is to get subscribers, then um, I think we have to ask uh, what they are, who are they actually aiming it at? Because it strikes me as if that this is now being aimed at the the want to be uh, film stars and singers and actors and comedians and whoever. It's not necessarily people like me who are just putting up things which are related to the travels, the historical research and all the rest. Because when you see what I've got here, if you're interested in Sicily, if you're interested in camper van living, interested in history, you'd subscribe to me anyway. You don't need a video telling you about that. In fact, just by going to this thing where it says browse videos, you can see the sort of things I'm actually producing. Uh, also, if you don't want to see the uh, the video at present, you don't have to see it. Now, anybody who's not a subscriber will see it, whereas subscribers won't see it. Uh, it. It doesn't make sense. I think there's something else behind this. I'm not absolutely certain what is behind this force change yet, uh, but I, I, I suspect it's something like when forcing people to use Google hardware, I don't know what that hardware is going to be, but um, I suspect it's something along those lines, so it'll only work on their equipment, but not on anyone else's. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I'm just suggesting that Google has now got far too powerful. So, goodbye, old channel.